Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set So Much Love and I'll be using that um, stamp, the bottom flower and these dots. Is it that one? Yeah that's the one I'm choosing to use today. And these dots here I'm also using Game On for the checkered background up bit. Um, timeless tulips just for the Get Well Soon card uh, sentiment. And floral essence just where for the sentiment with th friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. Because that's what you want to wish them best when they're getting well. Card stock. I've got a card base, a white one at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and two pieces of white card stock, one for the inside and one for the outside. So it's the outside one we want. And we're gonna get started. Right, we need a piece of scrap paper for this bit. I have got no crumb cake just a moment. Oh. I'll find me crumb cake. So with crumb cake and your little background stamp, I'm gonna stamp off and then just stamp it that going right to the edge, you don't need to go right to the edge. That'll do. Just stumped it anyway. That's all I'm doing. And then with my memento ink and my big flower. I'm going to ink it up. And stamp this, I got it right way, yeah. In the middle. See that's a small stamp, that's all right. All right, with my Versafine, I am going to stamp my sentiments. All right, get well soon. I'm going to put up here, top left hand corner, like that. And then with my other message, I'm going to put it in my bottom right hand corner. Just there. And that is it. That's all our stamping done. Right, what we've got to do now is colour the flowering. I'm going to change it to clips of coral. I haven't used that colour for a while but we're still using old olive for the leaves. So just colour all the... Oh I know what I did. I'm doing this wrong. Never mind. Right. With old olive. Dark. I just squiggled up the middle of the leaf and round the flower edge. Oh, 
watching the petals as I go. I don't want to get green on them. As you notice, I wasn't too worried about the crumb cake underneath it because these um, uh, what they're called blends hide it. And I'm just colouring in the rest of the leaf with the light. Oh, we're getting the stems. Leaf. Right with the flower, got my dark. Um, what is this? Clips of coral, and I just did a line where the top and the bottom is not all over and also the folds and there's six folds in this one Fold there, and there's a fold. Go between the flowers a little bit. Just so that there's the flowers, the stamens. Oh, there's a fold. Right. Then with the light, go over the crazy on craze. Craze. I don't know why I keep calling it that. And blend this in a bit. Go around a second time, but I'm not going right to the tip of the petals. I'm just trying to blend in the as you can see that works a bit better. And then we need daffodil to light dark. Just for the middle. Like that. 
Alright, with the light again, we will do these butts. Right then, and with Calypso Coral, which I haven't brought, we are going to put dots on it, which I haven't got out. just going to dot round the outside like that that's our card done We just need to stick this on our on our base. Did it again, started saying something and didn't finish it. I'm not adding any gems. It'll just be a flat card, which I seem to be doing quite a few of lately. I don't mind. Right, and there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is th thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.